Origin 2017 introduces new trellis plots, allowing users to easily visualize complex multivariable data sets. Users can easily create multi-paneled line, scatter, and column graphs, as well as multiple combinations of these. Let's look at an example. Here we have different drug and dose values in columns C and D. To plot data grouped by drug and dose, we'll choose Trellis Plot from the Plot menu. Next, let's specify the plot type. Here we'll use Line and Symbol. Set the drug column for the horizontal panel variable and dose for vertical panels. The preview window will update to show these changes. Let's take this a step further. This dialog supports multiple variables for a single panel direction. To demonstrate this grouping capability, instead we'll set both drag and dose as horizontal variables, returning a single row further differentiated by groups of data within groups. And you can also map the plot colors based on any of these variables. Click OK and the trellis plot will be created. This multi-panel graph is rendered as a single layer so all panels share the same X and Y range. And in contrast with old grouped plot types, a trellis plot will not create an extra data sheet with the plot. Now if we update the legend, we'll see it now indicates for dose. You can further customize the panel details dialog on the newly added panel tab for each plot. It's important to note here, however, that if multiple data are together, they will share the same plot layout. Trellis plots can easily be reorganized from the Plot Details dialog by using the Wrap Panels setting. Here we've set Wrap Panels to 2, so that each drug is listed in its own row. The numbers don't make it obvious, however, that the first row of each header indicates the drug type. To change this, double-click on one of the headers to open the Axis dialog. These headers will be listed as tick labels called Panel Banners. We can easily modify their content by going to the String drop-down list, which shows a number of preset syntaxes. Should you decide to remove one of the panel variables altogether, you can always go back to the Panel tab in the Plot Details dialog and add or remove the column variables from there. In this example, we'll remove the Dose column from the horizontal panel and add it to the vertical panel, making the graph show 2x3 panels. Rather than having to merge two separate graphs, you can overlap panels in one or both directions to better illustrate the differences in your data. Gaps can also easily be added to your panels with control in either direction. And you can also alternate the sides of your ticks and labels as well. This has been a brief introduction to trellis plots. If you'd like to know more about them and other plot types, you can find many more examples in Origin Central.